people use that kind of sleep. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, extra extra half an hour, mm -hmm. it works. Hey, what, uh, dot com. You got to oh, be 21 go. and over and there present in Michigan to bet. For help so, with Greg, I'm going to call you after because we have something we have to do next week. And Paul W. I'll send you information. You're hearing the Paul W. Smith Show. News Talk 760 WJR. Well, at uh, eight, almost 821, it's Friday, 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 <laughs> which means we have movie, 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 movie. Show, 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 show. Plus, 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 plus. <laughs> with the one and only, it's the movies for me guy. Yay. Mr. Where'd you Craig get Russell that shirt? And Miss Dana <laughs> Clark. Oh, okay, where'd you get Dana? that shirt? Dana's at the oh, music. Oh, oh, what's shirt? the music? This is Part of the yes. fabulous Dana Clark yes. collection. Oh, it is from the Dana yes. Clark collection. Yes, it is. Yes, I, I sent it to him. Oh, that's very nice. It's the <laughs> movies for me. That's, that's great. Perfect. Citygirlgear.com. Yep. What is it? Citygirl? <laughs> Citygirlgear.com. That's, yeah. that's your company. Yes. Yep. And that's I, nice, Greg. I like it when your husband Trevor, uh, you know, uh, f <laughs> models off your your clothing. Yeah, it, it it doesn't matter that it's all women's clothing. I mean, it's no, clothing. no, it's for everybody. I, I'm I just say, oh. you see the skirt that working. came with this. You know, it's. I was working for a joke there, but I, oh. I guess I didn't work hard enough. <laughs> all right, um, movies that uh, we're interested in this week, I'm told, are Land and Judas and the Black Messiah. Where are we starting? Uh, let's see. We can start, I guess, with Judas and the Black Messiah. Both of these movies are uh, out right now because of uh, awards consideration. They're both very good. As far as Judas and the Black Messiah, it takes place in 1968, and it's the true story of how there was this one guy who got into a little bit of trouble, so the FBI had him infiltrate the Black Panthers as a spy. You know, just mm -hmm. to let them know what was going on. Ah. And it, like you said, it, it's a true story, and uh, the one gentleman who was the leader of the Black Panthers, his son is actually one of the producers of the film. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So he would, I would guess, push for authenticity. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, very, very well acted, very interesting story, you know, just to watch, just to see how- Do we know these, uh, these actors? Yes, let's see. I've just got to make sure I pull them up just so I pronounce their names correctly. Daniel Kalua. Uh, mm -hmm. He is the main actor, and Lakeith Stansfield, he's the one who plays the kind of like spy. You've seen both of them in some Jordan Peele movies and different things like that. Yeah, Daniel was in Get Out, the guy yeah. in Get Out. Oh, mm -hmm. the guy who has to get out. Right. Yes, <laughs> yes, him. <laughs> that was a scary, that was was, a scary movie. Right? It when was. Wall tells you to get out, go like, leave. Leave. Go. <laughs> it shouldn't have to say it twice. Right. Uh, well, let's listen to a little of uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. All right. You're looking at 18 months for the stolen car, five years for impersonating a federal officer, or you can go home. The Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color. Their aim is to sow hatred and inspire terror. I will learn all that I can. I will learn. These ain't no terrorists. You can murder a liberator, but you can't murder a liberation. You can murder a revolutionary, but you can't murder a revolution. And you can murder a freedom fighter, but you can't murder a freedom. Well, in the beginning there, I heard a cameo role by Coach Tom Izzo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. if Brian, I don't know if Brian can play that part in the beginning again, but I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, uh, so what did we think of the movie? Oh, definitely a, a good three out of our four. You know for sure. It's uh, like I said, topical, controversial. Mm -hmm. Black Biden History Hope. Month right. would be a good movie to see, and it's yeah. HBO Max, right? Right. Yes. So HBO if you're still Max. working on getting HBO Max, you have another chance to. I'll I'll get HBO Max when they're bought out by somebody else, or yeah. when they buy somebody else, and it'll be all folded together, uh, maybe. But mm -hmm. uh, so, what would this be rated? We don't uh, say that. We probably should say that from now on. Probably R. Let's see. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably R. Really about that, just okay. because. Uh, bu -bu 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 yes, R. Okay. Yep. And you say three out of four. Stars, right. thumbs up, stars, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whatever it might be. Popcorn. Popcorns, whatever it might be. <laughs> All right, yeah. Boy, do I miss good. Yeah. Freshly baked, freshly popped, rather. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Real butter on it. Mm -hmm. Like, like Imagine Theaters has. I miss that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know who Robin Wright is and yes. she is in Land. Yes. Uh, she is the main star. And also, this is her motion picture directorial debut. Mm. Uh, this is all about a lady who, when we start the movie out, she had already suffered some cuts catastrophic events in her life oh, so she's just just needs to get out mm -hmm. so she leaves her place in the city gets this little wood cabin uh out truly in the woods mm -hmm. and that's where she's staying and the best part about this film is it does it goes to show the inner workings of when a person is just you know broken down mm -hmm. but then also it shows how humans are actually really good to each other uh it's one gentleman who just happens to live down the street. He ha he saw smoke coming out of the chimney, to which he knew no one stayed there. So he went up to go visit her, and they became friends, and he helped her through a lot of the trouble. And it, it's another one of those where I, I even asked her about it. I said, since you were the director, you knew what you wanted your character to put out. Mm. And she said, yeah. So that kind of made that part, you know, when I say somewhat easy, because she knew the emotion that she wanted to be seen on the screen. But it, it is, it's all about, you know, just being human, being people, mm -hmm. you know, working together. I mean, it kind of like really fits in perfectly with what's going on now. There's no doubt uh, that that's a real challenge to direct yourself yeah. mm -hmm. uh, in a movie. Because mm -hmm. the, the beauty of a director usually is standing on the outside, looking in at how everything fits together, mm -hmm. what the actors right. can't generally do. But so good for Robert Wright. Let's listen and uh, hear a little bit about From Land. But it's really difficult to be around people because they just want me to be better. So you're not able to share what you're feeling with other people. It's pretty country, isn't it? Tribal lands. It's not a good idea to be out here without a vehicle. I'll be fine. How did you find me? You were in my path. You know, one might wonder how someone like you came to be in this place. I'm not running from anyone. I'm not hiding. I'm here because I choose to be. If it's all right, I will teach you how to travel and the fall to hunt. And then you won't see me anymore. Can we agree that you not bring any news of life elsewhere? What if aliens land here? Is it a cowboy movie? Uh, no. Why, why is it called land? No, because it's... Oh, well, I thought maybe it was, what if aliens land here? <laughs> right. I wonder if it was a cowboy movie. <laughs> oh, there's a cowboys in space. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but no, it's just because that's all there is where she is. It's just land. Oh, it's land, no. open land. Did right. you like Did you like this? Yeah. It, it did. Cool on me because at first when I first saw, you know, some of the trailers, I'm thinking, ah, this is just going to be this you know, really mm -hmm. just depressing thing all the way through. Mm -hmm. But Damien Bashir, he's the guy, uh, the gentleman in the movie. Once his character especially got involved, and like I said, just again, just human interact, humans interacting with each other mm -hmm. and helping each other. That's what made it special. Mm -hmm. And this is at the movies. This is not, yeah. we can't see this. Okay, so you have to go oh, to next week. It's been a okay. long time since we've had a film that was just at the movies. Yeah. Right, yeah. All right, Gotta that's, go to the movies. And with Robin Wright, you're giving it three, four. Yep, yep definitely uh, three, three and a half. You know, Rated, R4. probably an R. PG-13. This was PG-13. All right. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The one and only Greg, Greg, Greg. Russell, 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 Russell,
Know your risk factor for heart attack and stroke. Tune in Sundays at 3 to News Talk.